For the RD exam, we are starting on domain two. And for this domain, we're going to be talking a lot about the nutrition care process and medical nutrition therapy. Uh, we will also talk a little bit about community programs and government programs and that kind of thing as well. Um, but I wanted to just kind of introduce our first topic, um, going through screening and assessment. So looking at the nutrition care process, we have the screening and assessment piece. And typically what happens in the clinical setting is within the first 24 hours that a patient comes in, they are screened. They have a nutritional screen. And this is um, basically regulated by JCO or the Joint Commission. And they want everybody, um, it says the nutrition risk is identified in hospitalized patients within 24 hours of admission. Uh, they do not mandate a method of screening. So basically what that means is a nurse, like the hospital I was doing my clinicals at, the nurses actually did the initial screen. And then those would lead to triggers that the dietitians would then go in and take a closer look essentially or do a um, consult with that patient. So JCO is regulating that. The nutrition screen that happens is basically indicating to the dietitians, hey, this patient needs attention. Um, these screenings, there's a big push and initiative for the malnutrition. So identifying malnutrition early and addressing that. So we do have part of our process of the um, nutrition screen. So it determines the need for additional assessment and it also helps identify malnutrition or malnourished patients. So that's a big um, purpose of the screen. Um, it usually, again, like I said, takes place within 24 hours and can be done. There's really, it's whatever the hospital particularly mandates um, that's done. The hospital I was at, it was the nurses that did the initial screen. From there, you're gonna be doing your ADIME, your um, assessment, diagnosis, intervention, monitoring, and evaluating. So in the assessment portion, um, I'm going to go over actually a couple. They're called screening tools. And these screening tools, I'm going to point out um, in England, she has a list of about seven of them. And quite a few of them have to do with the elderly. And um, the first one mentioned that has to do with elderly is the mini nutritional assessment. Um, and that's going to be 65 years of age and older, evaluating independence, medications, number of full meals consumed each day, protein intake, fruits and vegetables, fluids, and mode of feeding. Then we also have geriatric nutritional risk index, looking at serum albumin and weight changes. And then the NRS, nutrition risk screening, and that's going to be for 70 years and older and medical surgical hospitalized patients, they're looking at percent weight loss, BMI, and intake. Now, um, the other one that in England there's not a whole lot of information about, and in this other review I'm looking at, it's the only one that is mentioned, so I wanted to talk about the Nutrition Screening Initiative. Um, that came along to help improve the quality of nutrition care. This is, again, for the elderly. So the NSI, Nutrition Screen Initiative, um, that's looking at almost basically like an interdisciplinary approach. So we're looking at medical or sorry, mental health, oral issues, social health, um, counseling, social services, all sorts of um, everybody from the team. But it was a project to increase the quality of nutrition care. And this is in elderly, the nutrition screening initiative. Um, some other nutrition screening tools, subjective global assessment. Um, I remember learning a lot about that when I was in dietetics years ago. Um, basically your history intake, symptoms, functional capacity, appearance, edema, weight changes. And then we do have the MST and MUST, and both of those are going to be malnutrition screening tools. One is the malnutrition screening tool, MST, for acute hospitalized adult population, recent weight loss, recent poor dietary intake. And then the malnutrition universal screening tool, this one we're looking at BMI, unintentional weight loss, effective acute disease on intake for more than five days. That's the MUST. So those are some of your screening tools that you might see in various locations. Um, after we do our nutritional screen, then we are going to move on to the assessment piece, um, which we will talk about in the next video.